Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's Rox. Welcome back to my channel, Planet Rocks. All right, all right, it has been a long, 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 long time. Uh, probably since COVID started uh, that I've been on here. I know many of you guys watch me on my other channel, so I haven't been absent from YouTube. I just have not been over here to chat with you lovely people. How have you guys been? <laughs> What have you guys been doing? Have you been like me? And uh, kind of ready to pull all of your eyebrow hairs out because there's nothing else to do but sit at home uh, yet another day. It feels like Groundhog Day some days, you guys. Um, <clears throat> anyway, how have you guys been? I have missed you guys. I know you don't believe me, but I promise you, I, I think about this channel probably more than I should consider, and I wasn't over here, and I wasn't doing anything, but you guys really, I wasn't really planning like that. I mean, I still had a lot of stuff to do because a lot of my planning surrounded my social media, which was my YouTube, you know, to begin with. Um, so I was still doing things in my, at the time, A6 planner, but then I just, I stopped because I was just like, why am I going through all of this, you know, putting all this stuff in my A6 rings planner and buying these covers and doing all of this? And it just felt like it was too much, okay? So I just stopped and um, I didn't plan at all. And then with everything that happened with George Floyd and um, that brought, a, brought about the Black Lives Matter protests and you know, that big movement took over the planner community. Now, I wasn't over here, but I was still watching. And um, I was looking at everything that was going on. And uh, yeah, it was a whole bunch. <laughs> I was just like, uh, maybe I don't need to come back right now. You know, because I, you know, I talk about those kind of things over on my other YouTube channel. So on this channel, this was all supposed to be like rainbows and unicorns and happiness. And, you know, it was so much um <laughs> unrest in the planner community that I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I ain't dying. I don't even feel like it right now. Child, y'all had a whole bunch going on. Y'all done ran off Stephanie. Y'all done ran off Aaron. <laughs> I was just like, ooh, every day I was looking at something, it was something else. So yeah, it was a lot going on. And my eyes were actually open to a lot of things um, and the ways of a lot of people during that time. So then I, I was just like, yeah, I don't even feel like coming back right now because, you know, it was just a lot of ugliness and just a lot of things happening that I didn't want to be a part of. So I was just like, you know, let me take a break. Let me start start looking around, trying to figure out maybe I I might want to simp simplify my whole planning system, do something a little different. You know, not so fussy, not a whole bunch of extras and all of that. I came across Passion Planner, which I actually knew about. Um, you know, I, I've seen Passion Planners and um, I never was one for like a bounded book. So I never really paid much attention to it. But while everybody was kind of going through this whole osmosis of trying to figure out what was going to be their new planning system because, you know, people were deciding to stop using Erin Condren, people were deciding to stop using Happy Planners, people were trying to decide to um, support black planners, back black businesses and things like that. Um, so I was, even though I wasn't using any of theirs, I was always using inserts from like Lights Planner Action um, or 1407 planners or whatever. But <clears throat> I was just like, let me just see what, what else is out there. So I was very taken by, um, I was moved by a, a, a post that the owner of Passion Planner had done during the time. Um, and she was very truthful and said that she had been raised um, racist, you know, and that her family had told her to feel a certain way about people of color or black people in, in particular. Um, and, you know, she was really trying to make efforts to change that. And I just felt like she was sincere. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll check out her um, planner. And I did check it out. And I was like, okay, I think I could do this. I think I could do this. So I ordered one. It sat around for about a month. Um, this is the academic planner. 
and it is, um, so it started in August. So that is when I first started using this planner and um, I really do love it, you guys. It, it is what I need right now because like I said, it's not a whole bunch of muss, not a whole bunch of fuss. Um, it helps me with my goal planning, um, something that I've been trying to work on this year because I have a few ventures that I'm trying to get off the ground. You know, I have my book club and um, I really want to focus, it, you know, attention to that trying to figure out how to make things on my Cricut and trying to, you know, just add other revenues of maybe income to what I do um, and, you know, trying to make it back to this channel because this is also another way that I could add, you know, to that, <laughs> to that revenue. And I realized it, you know, and it was doing well and then I just, you know, I just stopped. So this is my effort of trying to get back on track and this is like my first video back in a long time. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell you guys about my passion planner. Okay. So that is what we have here. This is, like I said, the academic planner started in August and um, this is it. So it's a bound notebook, very different than what I have been using. Okay. All that time, you guys are so used to me with my, um, first I had the traveler's notebooks and then I went on to the binders but the ring the ring binders but um I, I love this i love it if you guys are familiar with the passion planner it's just so i love the way this feels okay another thing is i never thought that i would have just a black planner okay i'm always one for color i'm you know partial to pinks and you know mint color mint green mint blue lavenders you know so I was really, I was really taking it down to the most minimal level when I, <laughs> when I started getting this, you know, so, um, but I like it. And actually the fact that it was so soft, I can't even explain to you how it feels, but, um, it is bound, but, and it's not real leather, but it's leather like whatever that means. And it feels like leather and, um, it's, it's just really, really nice. It's really, really nice to touch, you guys. But um, yeah, it comes with this little band on the back here. So, you know, you're able to keep everything inside. You're able to keep it closed if you have a tendency to pack your um, planners. So yeah, we'll just kind of thumb through it real fast. Okay, so I added, I added this vellum here. This isn't vellum. This is acetate. This was actually, I think, from the honeybee shop. One of their, one of their, um, one of the acetates that came in the subscription box when I was part of their subscription. So one thing that I'm always going to still do is I'm going to still add things to this, this planner. Even though it is bound, you know, there are ways. I basically just use some Simply Gilded tape and I was able to tape that in. And I just like the way that looked. This is also from Honey Bee Shop, and I think this is from Shameless Stickers, okay? So I put that in there. I don't even know why I put this in there. The F-bomb is one of my favorite words, if you, <laughs> if you know me. So um, that's why I put that there. Um, but, you know, I wrote my name in here. I wrote my email address. You know, it says, if found, you know, there's a reward. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I don't know what the reward would be, but you know, I'm not gonna really have this out away from me anyway. Now, the good thing about Passion Planner is it has like this roadmap to, um, like I said, your goals. So there's information on the first couple of pages about their story, um, how the planner is set up, um, welcoming you to the Pash Fam, hashtag Pash Fam, that's what they call themselves. Um, and then just kind of explaining exactly how they expect you to fill out this, the, the planner. I actually haven't done my roadmap. I keep on saying that I am going to, but I am like one of those ones that tend to overthink things. And um, so I haven't had a chance to do it, but I do intend on doing it. Okay, so it has this. And it's cool when you guys read through it. It, it. it makes you make a wish list. 
It's asking you for your goals, lifetime, three years, one year, three months, you know, so short and long-term goals there. You can change that, of course, if you want to five years, you know, however you feel is gonna help you get to where you wanna be. Um, and it talks about your passion plan, okay? So it's, it is really truly a goal setting type of planner. And I like that about it. Not too deep though. It's not to the point where you just feel like overwhelmed by trying to really pinpoint what are your goals. Cause if you're anything like me, if you overthink it, you just be like, fuck it. Okay. So this kind of helps you out and not make you get overwhelmed with what you're trying to do. Okay. So then next they have, um, <clears throat> the perpetual calendar for 2020, 2021. And then they have this area called space of infinite possibility, which is cute to me. And that's usually on the end. I mean, on the bottom of each um, weekly section, you guys will see it as we get into here. I put a little, what is this? A little pocket thing there so that I could stick my um, sticky notes in here. Cute, huh? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I started in August and I put this little doily in there because I thought it was cute. But anyway, I decorated it. This is using the Capital Chic Design um, stickers and also using the washi from, I think, Cookie Sticker Co. Uh, the melanin and the little drip up here. Okay, I used that and tried to keep it on the little blue level, cute, cute, cute. Okay, when I first started, I wasn't quite sure how to decorate it. I was just kind of writing it out. And then as I got further along, I started decorating a little bit more. This was some Happy Planner stickers. Um, this was a sticker from J, J, J Brooklyn, JD Brooklyn. Um, and this set, actually, I cannot remember what the set was from, but anyway, use that. This was such an old sticker set. I don't even remember where that came from, you guys. And then <clears throat> here I just used Washi from Simply Gilded. This was a, 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 a doll from, I believe, Simply, Simply Doll Plans. Shout out, I don't remember the name. I'll put it on the screen. And then, you know, some just some little stickers from, uh, Sha, what, what, this is Peyton, I know the girl's name, I can't remember it. That's how long it's been since I didn't been on here. What is the name of that company? Golden, not Golden Plans. Okay, that'll be on the screen too. You guys probably know anyway. And then um, I used some stickers from the Happy Planner, one of their sticker books that has florals in it, which I love this spread. It was just so pretty to me, you guys believe in yourself um and then okay so i won't let you guys see my actual reflections let me let me show you one that's empty at the end of each month they give you a chance to reflect on your month okay and they have questions it says what was the most memorable part of this past month describe it what were the three biggest lessons you learned in the past month review your planner for the past month and assess your priorities. Um, so anyway, the questions go on in that manner and it's just a way for you to actually sit down and see if you were able to reach any of your goals. Did you learn anything from your goals? Did you put into practice your priorities? You know, what is it exactly that you wanted to focus on? Did you or did you not do that? And um, so I, I did fill that in at the end of August and put some marker over it just so it'll be pretty. And then we were on to um, September. So this time I added a, this is a vellum and I actually got this from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Okay, and I thought it was pretty. I said, oh, this is gonna be a black and white month. And so that is what I used there. And this is my month at a glance and I usually just put things on here that um, not necessarily, like appointments, things that I need to see like right away, okay? Um, and 
on the days that I actually had something going on just to bring my attention to it even further, I would put the dates. These are from a Happy Planner sticker book as well. Okay, birthdays, my meetings for my book club, um, the holidays, um, my good friend's mother's funeral, things like that, okay? And again, stuck that in there with some Simply Gilded um, washi. Stick this, this back down. Hold on, you guys. And then we went on to um, the month of September. So this was the next spread. Again, loved this spread. Oh, this spread was so pretty, you guys. This was also from a um, Honey Bee Shop subscription box that I had these stickers and I loved the, the colors and I was saving it for a lot I mean you know for a rainy day and then I was like it's perfect I can put it in this spread so I love the way that came out and then we're up to oh actually this is last week I haven't planned for this week maybe I will do a plan with me I don't know you guys <laughs> I don't know but anyway um this is the, the spread for this week, which I love. I just really do love this book. You're still able to decorate it the way that you want to. You don't have to though. Um, this for this week, for example, if I didn't wanna do all of that and I just wanted to stay, keep it strictly functional, I love the fact that they have hourly, um, it's an hourly, well not hourly, but you know, it has plant, it has, uh, the times on here from 6 a.m. all the way till 11 p.m. Okay, so that's a good stretch of the day. If you are one that likes to plan according to your time of the day, some people will block that out and just within the day, they know they need to get this, that, and the other done. But if you want, you can also go in 30-minute blocks, okay? And um, also down here at the bottom, you guys, I do use the bottom. Usually it's for my YouTube and my Roxy Reads thing, trying to keep track of how much I make and <clears throat> how many people watched how many videos and um, you know just certain goals that I set for myself there. So I do use that bottom part. And, um, but it's really nice because it has a personal to-do list if you wanna use it for what it's intended a work to-do list. Oh my God, there's something in a way that's blocking it. <laughs> a work to-do list. And then again, this space of infinite possibility where you can just kind of put whatever you feel here. Sometimes I don't know what I'm supposed to put there, you guys. So that, that's why I'll just cover it up and, or put something in there that's nothing. Okay. So anyway, that, was that from this week? What is that? Okay, so anyway, that is what I have been using, you guys, and I really just, I really love it. It doesn't have, you know, a space for your pen to clip, so I actually, this was from Erin Condra, and I had a, um, I had a pen holder, and I just stuck it to the last page of the book before you get to these blank pages in the back that I'll show you in a minute, and I keep my, my, um, pen there. This pen is from Angel Shop. The Angel Shop. I love her pens. I'm on this whole green thing right now, you guys. I love the color green. So that sticks up there and it's real nice. It's a ballpoint pen. Um, this little clip I made, that was, for, I got this little charm from um, uh, Hobby Lobby. And then this is also from the Apple, I'm sorry, the Angel Shop. And that is my initial. You see it's an R. And I just stuck, I keep it real simple, y'all. Can you believe it? After everything that I was having on my other planner, but I just have these two clips on here. This one is from Lola, what is it? Lola and somebody company. And this is from Three Glitter Peas. And this is a sticker from Simply Gilded. And that is it, you guys. Um, at the back of the book, they have these empty sticker, I mean, em sticker pages, empty pages that you can kind of do whatever you want. I did order um, some stickers from, I think her name was Chelsea Brown Designs that she actually makes for you to stick in the back of this book. 
and um you know she has different ones that you can this is supposed to be year in pixels that i still haven't done yet this is keeping track of television series that i started watching that i reviewed things like that and then there's a bunch of other pages that you can do whatever you want i think there are 20 if i'm not mistaken there's either 10 or 20 um that are just plain maybe it's more like 10. and then there is 10 that are dot gridded okay can you see that there so that is what's happening i also have um for my Roxy Breeze Book Club. I have a list back here that I keep track of people that are my silver members. And you guys, oh, the stickers. I brought the stickers so you guys, just so I can show them. <laughs> just so I can show you guys what I've been working on. So with my book club, I made these stickers on my Cricut. So I was like, girl, you gonna be a shop owner one day. <laughs> But so cute, right? So cute. So I'm supposed to be sending those out to my um, to my silver members of my book club along with some book lights that I got for them. So if you guys are a part of that, then you will be getting that soon. Waiting on my boxes to box everything up and get it out to you. And then, um, so Afro Asia Chick, if you're watching this video, I have not forgotten about you, girl. I have not been to the post office. I have not been anywhere to send out your stickers, but I'm, they coming. <laughs> they are coming. But um, yeah, so that's it. Just wanted to show you guys my new no must, no fuss um, planning system that I'm working on. I did actually, I've been shopping still, okay, because I still love um, just all of the things that are planner related. So I've still been shopping. I've still been buying washi. I just recently just got this little order in, which is really, really simple. I really only wanted these bows but it seemed like it was ridiculous to be paying for um, shipping and just for a couple of bows so i just added a few washi that i need i got so many damn washi you guys and then you know cloth and paper is all the rage right now and um i just ordered a bunch of her little drops um what are these called <laughs> this is a little bit of everything video, you guys. It's been so long. I don't I don't even have like a system anymore. But I did order these drops. That's what they're called. They're like transparent. Um, and I've ordered them in a bunch of different colors. I don't even know really how I intend on using them, but I guess I'm gonna be using them. Okay, and then I also ordered this notepad. This is a sticky note that says to do, so I will stick that in there. And then, huh, maybe I'll save these. Okay, I'm gonna save the other thing that I ordered recently um, for another video. But, <clears throat> well, let me just show you guys and then maybe I'll do an in-depth video on these. I did order, because I'm all pa passion planner, um, <laughs> you know, I'm ready. I ordered a daily planner because I think I'm gonna be doing journaling in here. I've been journaling in a in a hobo Nietzsche in a, oh, <laughs> let me get my words together. I've been journaling in an, in a hobo Nietzsche tech techo techo. Okay, and that has been that's an A6 size, but I don't really like it. So it doesn't make me want to go back to it. So then I saw that Passion Planner had these daily planners, and I was like, well, let's try that. So I did order that. They just had a release for um, their new their new 2021 um, planners. This planner is undated though, because it's daily. So of course, you know, you don't have to use it every day. So that's nice, okay? And then I also ordered this Serpent Spring. Okay, I, I want you guys to see what it looks like. This is still the same planner as my black planner. This one is a hard case though. I don't know how much I'm gonna like the hard, you know, the hard case. I, I love the squishiness of the black, but literally you guys, this went live, I think on Thursday, I ordered it Thursday night. So you might as well say Friday morning and I got it today, which is Monday. So the shipping was super fast. Okay, so um, I may give this away in a giveaway, I'm not sure. But I just wanted you guys to see the cover. 
It is really pretty. And this starts 2021, so I'm not sure why I would even, you know, I'm not using this no time soon. I'm not gonna be changing dates and everything. And it's still the same on the inside. You know what? Why does that look shorter? Is that shorter? No, I guess it's not. It's the same. It is the same, okay? And, um, oh, one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys about. The way that Passion Planner works is um, if you purchase a planner, they have all of these different charities that they give to. And depending on the planner that you purchase, a dollar from that sale goes to whatever specified charity that they have. So this one goes to A Reason to Survive Arts, and it's a creative youth development nonprofit and community arts center, okay, located in National City. So if you purchase this one, you are donating there. So even if you're not trying to be, you know, active civilly and donate, um, you are still doing it, whether you want to or not. So I like that, that they, you know, do look out. And the same for this planner. It does say, I think maybe I might need it to have looked on the website. So depending on, you know, like I said, the planner that you get, it is what you donate to, okay? So anyway, that's it. I'm all out of breath because I feel like I've just been talking and talking and talking. I gotta get back in the hang of these things and, you know, get back to getting on camera. I want you to know that I do appreciate you all who have sent me messages and said, Roxanne, when are you coming back to the planning channel? And um, yeah, I was like, Roxanne, you're going to do that shit today. So that's what we did. <laughs> I hope you guys have all been really well. You guys tell me what you've been up to in these last um, few months. I guess I haven't been on here since February. Maybe... Yeah, it has to be like February. So it's been a lot that's gone on. I'm sure it has been. So you guys tell me what you did. Have you changed up your planning system at all? Do you still do what you were doing when I think most of us can agree that we are not half as busy? Well, not necessarily half as busy, but we're not going as much as we have been. People are still very busy. People are still working. People are still, you know, taking care of their family and still taking care of themselves and whatever, okay? So, but let me know if things did change for you because I am still working, I am still working from home, but yeah, it, it's still different, you guys. So that is it. Let me not knock this around. You guys, I'm gonna get off of here and uh, get this edited and up to you. All right. Plus, I think Blue is getting impatient in his cage. He's ready to get out. He's been a good boy for me today, you guys. All right, you guys. So that is it. If you enjoyed this video, you go on and sus subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you are already subscribed, then you know what? Go on and tell somebody about it so that I can help them get their lives together too. Child, we're going to get our lives together <laughs> together. All right, and I am going to get off of here. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I plan on doing the same. Until next time, rock stars. Bye.